what's up everybody welcome to BioWS 3 raw tv so um you know kind of in awe that people are still really interested in keto dieting which for some reason people think i'm just like a keto guy but i got a lot of questions at the la fit expo about keto people that were using keto and i got an email this morning from a guy who asked me a question about keto and i'm like i'm not sure what's getting lost in translation or people don't understand what ketogenic means, what to be in ketosis means. And I think that there's like a gap that needs to be bridged that people are not getting. <clears throat> Excuse me. So his question was, Jerry, I'm in ketosis. I've been in keto for this many days or whatever. My fats are this, my proteins are this, my carbs are this. Is, and I believe it was he was doing the anabolic diet, which was Marty de Pasquale's version of the ketogenic diet. Is it still needed to do cardio while I'm in ketosis? And I kind of stepped back and I was like, what the fuck? I'm like, going on a ketogenic diet doesn't mean that you don't need to do cardio anymore. That's not that at all. Now, I think a lot of people nowadays, you know, especially are trying to find a way to not do cardio. So they're looking at anything they can possibly find diet-wise or drug-wise so that they don't have to do cardio. Me, myself, I don't like to do cardio. I do it when I have to. But understanding what cardio does, what a ketogenic diet is, what ketosis is, how they work together. This is what I try to explain for years now. Things work together. You don't just take one fucking part, throw it in there, and th you take a handful of shit, throw it at the wall, and hope that it sticks. You know, you crazy glue that shit there. You have a specific purpose to get it done. Now, ketosis is essentially the body's way of using ketones. That's why it's called ketosis. You're in a state of ketosis, your body's using ketones, a breakdown of fats, and you're using those as fuel. Getting the body into a state of ketosis is keto. That is keto. When you're doing keto, it really doesn't have to do with the diet, okay? The diet is a, is a means of a form to an end of being in ketosis. So when you're on a keto diet, when you say, I'm, in, I'm doing keto, you're doing a keto diet to be in ketosis. What's important is you're in ketosis, not the fact that you're doing the keto diet. There's more emphasis on the diet than what's actually going on with the body. The result is what you want, not the fucking diet. You don't get props for fucking doing a ketogenic diet. That doesn't fucking matter. A lot of people can eat a ketogenic diet. They're eating tons of fat. They're not actually losing fat. So it's not really the diet that's important. It's that you're in ketosis that's important. Now, that being said, body fat is essentially stored energy. It's energy on the body that is there in case you fucking starve and you need it. Now, you're trying to lose body fat in a way of making the body go into ketosis to lose fat faster than if you weren't in ketosis. So not necessarily just caloric restriction. It's a way of getting the body to use those ketones more efficiently. How the fuck do you think the body's going to use what's on the body and not what you're putting in? If you're putting in 300 grams of fat because you're on keto and the body has enough fat that you're taking in, it's not going to use body fat. Okay, It's going to use what you're giving it first and it's going to keep the body fat in case it fucking starves later. Hence, slower or no progress on keto. I actually have people telling me, I'm in ketosis, I peed on the fucking strips, nothing's happening. You're eating too much fucking fat. Or you're eating the wrong types of fat that are having trouble digesting, and your body can't pull the fucking body fat fast enough, because enzymatically, it's hard for it to do. It hasn't made that full switch. So what it's going to do is, break down muscle tissue to make glucose, which is the easiest fucking thing for it to use, and it's actually easier for it to break down muscle tissue and make glucose than it is to use ketones at first. So there's, there's, there's a whole lot of things going on that people don't understand. As far as cardio being part of a keto diet, Yes, you still have to do fucking cardio. And it's not about just calorically, because you can eat a bunch of fat. Let's say you're eating 300 grams of fat, you're doing a half hour of cardio a day, and it levels out to where you're really just burning what you're taking in. You're not doing anything. So the cardio is fucking not doing anything. However, if you're using the cardio to stimulate your metabolism and make it faster throughout the day, here's what happens. You do the cardio in the morning, you're fast at cardio. Stimulate your metabolism. Let's say you get a good five to six hours stimulant from the metabolism, of the metabolism from the cardio. You're taking in your fats, but you're not eating so many fats that the body has plenty to fucking deal with and doesn't have to tap into body fat. Your body now is breaking down body fat, making ketones, using those as energy. What the fuck do you think happens when you do the cardio? The increased metabolism makes you need more ketones. More ketones means more body fat comes off. Now, you consistently eat your keto diet throughout the day. You go to the gym at night. You stimulate the fucking muscle. You actually get a stimulation of metabolism for a good... Let's say, let's go minimal, six to eight hours. You're still eating your keto diet. Your fats are low enough and you're eating the right fats, which is also important. The faster that those fats turn over or are digested, the more body fat you're going to lose. The more saturated fats you eat, which everybody's like, oh, a ketogenic diet, I can eat sausage and bacon. Yeah, but your results are fucking like a snail. 
On a ketogenic diet, I can lose fat so fucking fast and it makes your head spin. Why? Certain fats, the way they're digested, the way the body uses them. All of these things come into play. So now you've stimulated metabolism twice throughout the day with cardio and training, and you're eating the, certain, the right fats and the right amounts at the right times. What do you think happens? The body is efficient 24 hours around the clock. That 24 hour efficiency means the most amount of fat loss. So yes, you have to do your fucking cardio while you're on a keto diet, whether you're doing carb cycling, whether you're doing fucking high carb, whether you're doing fucking no carb, whatever the fuck it is, you gotta do your cardio. That's gonna get your results faster. You don't just fucking go on keto and say, I don't have to do cardio anymore. Especially if you're like one of those 350, 400 pounders, you better fucking learn that to get that amount of stored energy off your body, it's gonna take a hell of a lot more than restricting your calories a little bit. It's gonna take you fucking years, I'm talking like decades, to drop that amount of fat if you want to do that. Another big thing I keep hearing with keto is I'm getting people fucking sending me their their initial intake forms in keto with 200, 250 grams of fucking fat in their diet. And they're still fat and not losing fat, but they're in keto. So they're like, I don't understand what's going on. I'm in keto. Why am I not losing fat? You're eating too much fat. Your body never has to tap into the stores to fucking use, lose body fat. Like, being in keto doesn't automatically just... And, and, and I blame some of the information out there that says basically like, oh, you don't even have to count your calories. Just eat no carbs and fucking eat from these foods. Salami, sausage, steak. And they have all these fucking high-fat, high-calorie, high-dense foods that really are hard to digest. And as far as macronutrients, micronutrients, is fucking nil. There's nothing in fucking sausage and bologna and fucking salami and pastrami and shit like that. But that's what these motherfuckers are eating. And they say, oh, no, this said to do this. No, that's fucking way back in the day when they first figured out ketogenic diets. And you were a 400-pounder trying to drop fucking 20 pounds. Okay, it's going to get you so far. However, through time, things have developed to where a ketogenic diet doesn't mean you're eating fucking tons of sausage. What it means is that your body's in a state of ketosis and burning fat more efficiently than not. Okay, and that doesn't necessarily mean even... I, I, get, I go into keto fucking... I'll eat 30 grams of fat a fucking day and be in keto. And people will be like, well, Dre, that's not keto. Yes, it is. My body's burning ketones at a faster rate. I am in ketosis. That is keto. It doesn't necessarily have to do with the fat that you're taking in. It has to do with the way that your body's breaking down the fat and making ketones in the end to use for energy. That's what ketosis actually is. And there are all different forms of that diet now. There are, you know, even forms of carb cycling can put you in ketosis. Zero carb, low carb, no carb, fiber only, you know, carb, uh, carbs only on the weekends, you know, high fat, moderate protein. Another thing is the protein, which I've seen people eating 25 grams of protein a day saying, I'm in keto. I'm sparing the protein. Right, but your fucking muscle mass is 180 pounds. You think that fucking 20 to 40 grams of protein is going to cover that muscle mass? Yes, you can't eat too much protein because it'll convert to glucose, but you have to eat enough to sustain your muscle mass and be able to fucking recover. Like, there's so many things that are getting lost in translation because keto has changed and evolved over the years. And I think people don't really know what the fucking term keto means. They hear keto, they think high fat, they think no cardio, they think not counting calories, not counting fucking, you know, macros. They, that's what they think when they hear it. Just eat these certain foods. And next thing you know, they're contacting me to fix their fucking diet and their training program and stuff because it's not working. So be, be aware that things have changed since keto first came around and they started experimenting with it. There's a whole bunch of different variations of it. And not one way is going to work for everybody. Different ways work for every different people. And the, the certain fats, the right fats make a huge difference as to how well that keto diet is going to work for you. Biochitraining at gmail.com. Leave comments down below, but don't fight. www.biochitraining.com is a blog. It's the keto bi... Well, not keto now, but it's the keto bicep, and we're out.